Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to the first international Chase x conference hosted at the University of Bayreuth. My name is Karsten Miller. I'm member of the Chase x team. And today I want to present another project called Sketchometry. Our JavaScript-based library JSX-Graph is perfect for visualizing mathematical content like interactive constructions, function graphs or diagrams. Normally you will use an editor to create these constructions. You can create points, lines, circle, intersections and after that you will implement these constructions into your web page or learning platform. At school, sometimes it's a little bit different. You want to do your own constructions. The students are asked to do constructions step by step. And therefore, you will need a graphical user interface. For Sketchometry, we created such an user interface and the foundation of the software is JSX Graph. And uh, I want to show you some of the features of our software. Okay, let's start with Sketchometry. I start with a new board and I want to do an interactive construction. Therefore, I need a tool and that tool I have always with me. It's that, it's my finger. And with my finger, I can sketch on the board. For example, I want to draw a circle, so I just sketch a circle on the board. If I want to draw a line, let's sketch it. Here it is. And so you can draw and sketch simple objects like circles, lines or triangles. And these objects are converted into interactive constructions. For example, I can change the size of the circle, I can rotate the line or I can alter the vertices of that triangle. With Sketchometry, you can sketch basic objects like lines, circles or triangles and the software converts them into exact ones and these resulting objects can be changed in position, size, you can rotate them or you can change the shape of a triangle, for example. But normally at school, if you're constructing, you want to use more complicated constructions. And therefore, we created a special gesture recognition and I want to show it to you. For example, here we have a triangle. And now I want to create the circumcircle of this triangle. Okay, let's sketch it. I draw a circle through the three vertices A, B and C of the triangle and the circumcircle appears. Now I can change the triangle and the circumcircle is still the circumcircle, it changes as well. But uh, this is one way to create this circumcircle. At school it's often useful to do it step by step like with compass and ruler. To create the circumcircle of a triangle I have to create the midpoint of this circumcircle at first. Therefore I have to draw the perpendicular lines through the midpoints of the three sides of the triangle. And so let's do it and I will use a very special tool. Of course, it's my finger. At the beginning, I have to draw the midpoint of one side and therefore I use a gesture. This gesture looks like a loop. I start at point A, mark this point A, draw a loop and then I will mark point B. And when I lift up my finger, a midpoint appears. And then I want to draw a perpendicular line. And that's very easy as well. I just have to draw this perpendicular line and therefore I sketch the right angle. 
I start outside the triangle, go to the midpoint, mark the midpoint point by sketching over the midpoint and then I mark the side of the triangle. When I lift up my finger, the perpendicular appears. So it's a very easy intuitive way to do constructions. I need the other perpendicular lines as well and so I create at first the midpoint of the side AC and the midpoint of the side BC and then I will draw the perpendicular lines through these midpoints. And then, oh, a miracle happens, of course it's not a miracle, it's mathematic, they meet in one point. And this point is the midpoint of our circumcircle. So I will mark this midpoint and here sketchometry asked me which intersection I want to draw because for an intersection I will need only two objects and in this case we have three objects. So I choose one situation, for example the first one, and now I have the midpoint of this circumcircle. And now I have to draw this circumcircle and therefore I will use another gesture and it's also very easy to remember. I have to draw the radius of this circle, so I will start at the midpoint of the circumcircle, go to one vertex, for example point A, and now I draw the quarter of a circle and sketchometry recognizes this gesture because it's the gesture for drawing a circle starting at a midpoint and a point on the circle. I lift up my finger and here it is, we have the circumcircle and this construction is a little bit different compared to the first one because we did it step by step, but we used only one tool and this was my finger. We used gestures. So let's have a closer look on sketchometry. We used JSX graph as the foundation. It is responsible for moving objects, for creating new objects. And on top we put some magic and that's the sketchometry gesture recognizer. With this gesture recognizer we can use our fingers as tools. We can use gestures to create new elements. And on top of this recognizer we put a graphical user interface and with this user interface we can for example change color of objects, we can use grids, we can display axes and other things and of course we can store sketchometry constructions in the cloud, we can print constructions and something like that. And that's sketchometry. And now I want to show you some more examples. Okay, let's start with a new board and a new example. I want to reflect some objects at a line. Therefore, I sketch a new line and the first object to be reflected should be a point. I put this point on the board and use a gesture. The gesture starts at the point, I go to the line and backwards to the point. When I lift up my finger, the reflected point appears, it's called A prime. Now I can change the position of the point A, A prime changes as well. Or I can rotate, for example, the line and A prime changes its position as well. But that's not all, you can also reflect circles. I draw a circle, go from the circle to the line and backwards to the circle. I have the gesture for reflection and the reflected circle appears. The same for triangles. Let's draw a triangle. Now I start in the middle of the triangle, go to the line and back to the triangle and here it is, a reflected triangle. I can change or rotate this triangle, I change the position of the line and the reflected object or the reflected objects changes as well. And that's 
another example with sketchometry. Okay, that was the geometry part of sketchometry and now I want to show you how to draw functions. Therefore, I start with a new board and go to the function button. Here I can enter a function. Let's take sine x for example. I press OK and the function appears. Now I want to draw a tangent on that graph and of course we use gestures. The tangent gesture is very easy to remember. For tangent I need a t. And so I draw a t and I start with a segment, go back to the middle and then I draw a right angle and when I lift up my finger the tangent appears. It's really easy. I can change this tangent and it has a new position and a new slope. And of course, let, for example, let's do another tangent in this case. And then I can examine the slope of this function. Sometimes it's interesting to calculate the slope and to draw a slope triangle. Okay, it's sketchometry and so we can use a gesture. So I start with this tangent. I use the intersection point between the tangent and the function graph. I draw a triangle. I start going to the right, then up and back to the intersection points. And here it is, the slope triangle. I can change the ta tangent and the slope triangle changes as well. It's very easy, isn't it? So what's so special about sketchometry? Of course, it's the gesture recognition. We can use our finger to create many objects and we don't have to choose a tool uh, out of a menu. We just use our finger. And the gestures are also very easy to remember because we created these gestures uh, in any case close to the object. You want to draw a perpendicular line, you only have to draw the right angle. You want to draw a tangent, just draw a T. You want to draw an angular bisector, it's also very easy. You go on one leg to the intersection points of the two lines, go to the position where the angular bisector should be and go back to the intersection point and on the other leg. So you have marked the two legs and the angular bisector appears. To remember all these gestures, we created an overview with all gestures on two sides. It's a PDF document and you can print it for your students. And so you have all gestures with you. Here you can find the perpendicular line, how to create a parallel line, how to use a tr slope triangle and all the other things as well. So sketchometry is perfect for tablets and smartphones, but of course you can use it with your PC as well. So you have to draw the gestures with the mouse. So everything about sketchometry you can find on our website sketchometry.org. You can even start sketchometry with only one click. You don't have to install the software. It runs in the browser as JSX Graph as well. So if you want to try it, just click on the start button. But of course, we also have apps for Android and iOS and some additional material, the gesture overviews in the documentation section of the website and some worksheets for schools where it is explained how to use sketchometry at school. These worksheets are divided into two parts, one construction parts where the students are asked to create a construction and then the second part is the exploration, exploration part where the students should find some math mathematical coherences 
in a construction. So this was a short overview about our software Sketchometry, a dynamic mathematics software based on Chase XGraph. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy the conference. Bye.